Last goal, free specials. Central York will move to 8 0, and they are your District 3 6A champions. Congratulations to the Central York Panthers. What will Central York do for an encore? The Panthers made history last.
football team. Hey, I told you from the beginning they're a very good football team, did I not? I'll never lie to you about the skill level of the opponent. I'll tell you who the best players are, where they're at. Uh, but so damn proud to rise up. No one ever panicked. So many positive guys. I don't want to just start sitting or talking about players because I'm going to leave somebody out. But it was a group effort, team effort. David Chips teams do that stuff. So give yourself a hand, fellas. <laughs> I really, really like this one. Uh, is this group as talented overall? Probably not. But that's no criticism. That just means they work harder. I think. I think they have a. I think they bond together better. Last week's win was was huge because you know it, one play they could have gone the other way. And by having that win, developing confidence, we needed to definitely have that going into this week. You know the whole thing, Coach Oz, the deal. But I, you know I think that's a little bit of pregame hype. But we just got to go out and continue. It was, it was big to get a win in the over. And then, uh, John is my uh, Andrew. Oh, stop playing with me, bro. Right, me too. There's a lot of fans smoking you at the other side. There's a lot of fans. They don't want to impress Coach by showing that they can play football. But other than that, uh, you know, it's like a pregame pep talk. I give the best pep talk in the world, but after the first hit for a loss, it's kind of lost in the pep talk. So I'm not really overly concerned about it. I need you guys locked in from the minute you guys wake up to tomorrow to the minute you guys go to bed so we can come out with a W. All week long, guys, we've kind of been, uh, we don't know how good CV is. At times, guys, they are an extremely good football team. If we don't bring our best, if we don't bring our A game tomorrow, it's going to be another four quarter four. We welcome you to Chapman Field and the debut of 2021 High School Sports Live here on ABC 27.3 with Fort Chapman. I'm Travis Sparks. Great to have you with us again. And four, if we were here 48 hours ago, we'd be heading for the hills with all the rain that we had. But in those 48 hours since, the field conditions have dried out pretty well. It looks like it's going to be a fast track tonight for everybody. Absolutely. It looks in great condition. It's a grass field, one of the few grass fields around the area now with all the schools going to turf. It's going to be nice. Lights are on and we should have a great battle. Job-oriented defense. Do your 111. 111s and we will ball the fuck out. Do your job. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah! 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 Focused, all 48 minutes, dialed in, we come out of here victorious, all right? Nobody comes into our house and does anything to us, all right? They come into our house, we're the ones doing the bullying. You guys understand that? Yeah. You guys better believe that. We all believe in you in the back, all right? It's time you start believing in yourselves and one in each other, all right? That's it. There's nothing else to be said. Go play Cumberland Valley football for the next 48, and we'll feel good about this damn thing. Let's go. Let's go. ready to kick it off for Central York. And boom, we are underway. So is a lefty, look at the throw, and it's a one tackle, gets out of two, and 
almost intercepted, almost caught. Hunt away by Patty Hernjack. And a return for Central and a fumble on the play. Treshawn Smith fumbled it away and Cumberland Valley has it. Tough snap for Sines. He looks over the middle. Nice catch by Griffin Huffman. He will get to maybe about the 44. And Gula takes off. 35 upended to the 38. Bounces back up. Signals first down. Give him 18 to play. Nine plays, 66 yards, and nothing to show for it. First and 10 for the Eagles at their own 25. looking to make lemonade out of lemons here as he gets up the middle to the 40-yard line. He does so, and that's the first, his first down for Cumberland Valley tonight. Looking right. Now wants to go up the middle again. But nothing doing. Signs with the pitch this time to Hunter and a huge hit and a flag. Just looked like with the jarring of the hit. You don't want to turn the ball over here and give Central York a short field. You got a 0 0 score. You got to be happy right now. It's intercepted. J.D. Hunter, he comes up with the intercept off the tip. Great break on the ball and a super big play for the Eagles with just over three minutes to go. Sides lose the football. Recovered by Central. There's Walker off to his left and he's going to get the carry. Nice go to the outside and he's loose. Two plays, quick striking offense. You give them some York offense the ball and in your own territory. Two plays later, you're in the end zone. Wants to take the whole Central York team with him to the 15. Phenomenal run by Hunter. Over the middle, it's intercepted by Dunnick. Dunnick at the 8, to the 20, to the 25, and a good return after the 26. Hey, that can be deflating for Cumberland. Right? If you're going in the locker now, you got to make sure you keep your team focused. And say, hey, we're a touchdown down. We're proving we can get the ball down the field. Focus and discipline, okay? Focus and discipline. That's 24 minutes, and let's come out with the dub. Let's we got to get started. They can't stop us. Once we get started, they're not going to stop us. Does we just need to relax a little bit? Make it come to you, the game, don't take it to the game. In other words, relax, be confident, do what you know you're capable of doing, and play with confidence. Right? But we got to go out and execute. We go right down and score, and they're, their backs are against the wall. 
This, they're not an offensive team. Okay, we're a defensive team trying to not make mistakes, and we've been shooting ourselves in the foot. Hands inside when we block, we got to get out on screens and have a big. So it's our time, guys. Second half, we've been a second half team since I got here. Let's go out and prove me right. Let's go. Bumbling, bumbling, stumbling, because Kair Folk to the outside to the 29. Long to go situation again for CV as they try to throw. Looking, wants it all, and what a catch and a flag. Basically, that ball was just thrown up for grabs. Corner out and left, but is in trouble. Done a great chasing job after him. Down. And it's on. Huckman again. First down. Phenomenal play by the signal caller to get out of that mess. Smith with the catch. Central, 21, Cumberland Valley, 3.
grew tonight because we grew in the second half. What did I tell you at halftime? I said, we've been a second half team. Let's get the rust out, wash that away, learn from our mistakes, feel good about the positive because that's what we have. Coach says, we're all right. Right here. Right here. Yeah, the rest of your dudes on football field, hell of a job. All right? That was awesome. Defensive effort. I haven't seen a defensive effort from us like that in a long, long time. I'm extremely proud of the defense. Offense, you guys faced some adversity and you stepped up to the challenge. Let's continue to do that. All right? Hey, two things we need to work on. Like I've been saying, I'm going to say that till the day I die focus and discipline. We need more focus from each and every one of you guys, and we need more discipline from each and every one of you dudes if we want to reach our goals. You guys got me? Yes, sir. The last thing I have to say is you dudes are my favorite football team, and I love each and every one of you guys. Yeah, love you okay. too, Bo. Bo trusted me. He, we was actually going to uh, kick a field goal. We was gonna, he was letting the time run down. We were going to kick a field goal, and he drew up a play for me and told me, come back to the ball, and I came back to the ball. And me knowing that Bo trust me, I wanted to step up for him. You uh, join fourth and one, and see that we're, we're only up seven three. I mean they they're about to take the lead, and we get an amazing goal line stop, and then just to see a 99 yard touchdown is the best feeling. Ever. We actually run that in practice too. We have a drill called puck pass under pressure on the one yard line, 97 yards. That's what we did. <laughs> Half time, you guys walk past the student section. They were giving it to you with the overrated. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean we didn't really care. We don't really listen to that, but it, it's you know it's not so much us versus them. In this game, it was really us versus ourselves, at least offensively. Uh, so we knew we just had to play better. I mean, these guys are, I, I couldn't be any more proud of them. I mean, the way they respond and how young they are, it's its, it's amazing. And I'm just so glad that they have my back. And, and I know they're going to put 100% on the line every single time. And, and that's why I love these guys so much.